It will be recalled that the Abuja Kefi, Akwanka, Lafia, Makodi Federal Highways was until recently in a state of despair with its attendant safety and cost challenges. This include vehicle damages, accident, robberies and loss of valuable man hours due to the stress of navigating through potholes and gridlocks. The representative of the Minister of Works, Ugu Chima Nena, who said the situation of the roads drastically improved owing to the rehabilitation and upgrading of the road by the federal government, also urged the road users to embrace the innovative solution that will bring sanity to the federal highways and enhance safety. The HDMI is expected to, amongst others, bring order accountability and profitable entrepreneurship to the operations, management and maintenance of the federal highways. The managing director of check operations and maintenance, Lai Array, and other stakeholders assured that they will team up with the managers of the road in the maintenance of the roads to ensure safety of lives of the road users. So the government decided to improve this road. This road is an artery road in Nigeria. And in improving it, it then is able to create multiplier benefits in the economy. You'll be able to take farm produce from the farms to the tables of the people who want to eat it. And our role is just to ensure that the road remains in the condition in which you find it today. That's the essence of this project is to operate it and maintain it, to make it safe and to make sure people enjoy a great experience using the road. And therefore, the O&M, which is the operations and management and maintenance of this road, has been saddled with the, on the shoulders of the concessionaire, who will ensure that maintenance, periodic repairs on that road is not left undone. In 1970s, we have road maintenance. But this time around, we didn't have road maintenance. But because of the toll gate, we have a road maintenance. They are telling us that the ambulance will be on the site. The security will be on the site. If there is any accident, the ambulance will not just go and rescue people. They will have a relation between them and the hospitals so they can make things easy for us. And why are we here again is to assess and give feedback so that the road will be better maintained for our own benefit. Meanwhile, residents of Lafia and neighboring communities who expressed joy for the return of the toll on the major highways also called on the federal government to look into the toll other fees. Having a toll gate in this axis is a good initiative. It comes to the fees, though to us as commercial vehicles, to be sincere, we feel it is too high as commercial vehicle concern. Somebody who uses the road day and night uh, to say you are paying 1,000 is too much. And like in Akanka in particular, the sharp bend you see within that area used to cause a lot of accidents. But with the constructions of the road and this toll gate, it minimizes the, ac the accident. So it, it, will not, it will not even cause the, the passerby anything to pay the fees of the toll gate. The creation of the toll gate, especially in my local yes. government, is a very well deserved, which I know is going to create a role for employment. I wanted to even to ask, because some of them are farmers, and how can a farmers will pass through the toll gate? But actually, they should consider the people who are around and also to reduce the fees if possible. And with this call gate in our community, we see it as a way where we can able to reduce that unemployment. So for that reason, alone, apart from the revenue generation, uh, apart from the revenue generation, we see it as welcoming development. It will be recalled that the toll places across the Federation were dismantled in January 2004 as the toll collection was riddled with leakages and toll roads were not well maintained, leading to public outcry. Imefon Okun reporting for Clevy News.